12 year old girl. We've got it, Mike Gilliam. He's live in Williamsburg with all the details. Mike. That's right there, Sookie. Now, the allegations are serious that a rabbi sexually abused a 12 year old girl. And this is dividing the community here. People are supporting the rabbi by posters like this one showing Jewish men under pack. They feel very sick about it. Some are outraged over the allegations of sexual abuse leveled at Rabbi Nechemiah Weberman, but others are supporting him, plastering posters throughout the Williamsburg neighborhood and planning a fundraiser for him at the Continental Caterers Dining Hall tonight. The rabbi is accused of sexually abusing a 12-year-old girl he was counseling, splitting the community into two factions. There will still be people in that community who are going to condemn my client. It doesn't matter if he's acquitted. It doesn't matter if the charges are dismissed. The 53-year-old Weberman was arrested in February of 2011 after a 16-year-old girl reported he forced her to perform oral sex and other acts during counseling sessions starting back when she was 12 years old. The ultra-Orthodox community is conflicted. One segment claims the victim has brought disgrace to the Hasidim community by coming forward. Many adhere to an ancient prohibition against Jews reporting other Jews to secular authorities without a rabbi's oversight. That's how we grew up, to look away from the victim and support the perpetrator. Weberman's attorney says his client's reputation has been ruined. People uh, want to throw a fundraiser for him because they recognize that his eternal living uh, has been impaired by these allegations. All the power to them. So that, that fun basically supporting the rabbi is scheduled to take place here at the Continental this evening. Reporting from Williamsburg, Mike Gilliam, Fix 11 News. Back to you guys. Bus driver charged with downloading and sharing child pornography will be back in court on Friday. 36-year-old Jose Perlado was arrested at his Bronx home. This happened on Monday. Police say he was busted after investigators traced Perlado's IP address and found him sharing at least four videos on his computer. They also found at least 25 other videos of minors engaged in sexual acts. And